Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have another little envelope flip. This one is an envelope. I had some smaller ones in my stash that were for five by five cards. So the envelope itself is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So all of the panels are four and three quarter by four and three quarters. And my previous video, you can see how I assembled um, them. It's the same method. I just wanted to show you a little flip through because I did a few things a little differently. I did my closure with grommets here. So uh, I don't know if you can see that. So it's got a grommet on each side and then I tie the ribbon through on each side and then that's my closure for this one. So I used a lot of Prima paper in here um, because I had it and I was kind of experimenting and I really love these colors. So I have a panel here. I did some stamping with a Tim Holtz stamp and this is a distressed piece that I cut off of one of the papers in the pack. So that's the cover. Pretty simple on the pianist. So I've got the piano and music there. And I love the contrast with the black. Alright, you open it up. And the first page on the left here I just have some paper and I have this little ruler. Um, lots of room to journal here or add ephemera. And then there are a couple little surprise spots here in this little book, and this is the first one. So you can see here I've got some dress form paper behind there. And let me zoom in. I don't have to keep holding that up. This is, you untie it. It's a secret little journaling spot. And it unfolds like that. I have some homemade uh, tape, washi tape. Um, it is glued down here, and the ribbon's glued behind it. That way, you always have a closure. So you can write on here, or add little whatevers, and then on the back, you can also write as well. So that folds right back up. And then you just tie that. Just like so. And I thought that was really cute. Um, of course, you can write all around here as well. Next page is this beautiful paper here lessons or something, uh, whatever old documents that is. And then I have more paper on the back here and another little um, envelope here that's tied with ribbon. So if you untie this and open the envelope, it's got little baby ephemera. <laughs> and this is a digital download that I have. It's a button card of this lady, a tiny little receipt, another tiny little um, it's like a floor plan, and then something architectural, and then another tiny little um, label. It's a little ephemera that you can put in there. You could put little journaling and roll it up and, and put it inside here, and then you just simply close it up. I made that on my mini We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. But I do have a video on my channel that you can make mini envelopes with your big punch board if that's all you have. Um, next page is right here, and I put another one of those parchment um, pockets. I turned it on its side so that it would fit, and out of my scraps I made a couple little double-sided tags to slip in there, but you could put whatever inside there and some washi. And then this page, spots to write on, we've got washi, we have this clock, uh, that, and then I have another one of those mini ephemera glued down. And on the back is this paper. So fun little project there. Uh, I'm going to pop that in the shop. Uh, hopefully you enjoy that. And then it just, um, when I make these sorts of things, I like to add stuff. But I like to leave a lot of room for personalization so that, um, you know, it's able to be added to by either you or if you're giving it to somebody, to that person. And then I don't uh, take up all the room, but I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And I like the square version there as well as the other one that I made that was a 5 by 7 so you can check out that video. Thank you so much for joining me, and hit like and subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.